Welcome to the podcast. It's our podcast. Um, we have a special guest on our podcast today. We've got Philip Jan- Jamison here from Greenspoon, um, who uh, is our quick draw guest today. Hi, Boo. Hi. Hey, Boo. I'm sorry for roping you into the podcast, Phil. I did try and get Tim and Ricky to do the podcast earlier on Charles schedule, the but they were mm. they were mucking around. Oh, I am, I I am the you. adult of the team. I that was really you. nice of you. It's no, nice to do that to go yes. and warm up the guests. A bit. No, and they... also Tim was walking around in here with a curtain over his head, trying oh. to act like he wasn't here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's even though I've got a bird's fun. eye camera of your studio and know where you are at all times. Is this the same vibe as Osh's podcast? Yes, <laughs> yeah, very, very similar. It was great. How was that? It was great. Yeah, yeah, everything was excellent. It was a lovely day. Go see Phil and his friends at Grinspoon. Uh, they're touring the country. The new album's out August 9, day before my birthday. Just stream the new single and all oh that God, stuff that's and enjoy week. the podcast. This is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. It's Ricky Lee, it's Tim Blackwell, it's Joel Creasy, it's the gang. Yo, yo. Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Tim to the place I love. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best show in my whole life. Hanging out with friends. Wow. We're the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. I am the crown prince of comedy. We're just getting so fired up about the Olympics. <laughs> so We're so fired, fired up. up. <laughs> We're yelling at each other. That normally, that normally happens in like 10 minutes' time. I know. We started early. There are um, things that have been yelled in this room that <laughs> shan't be repeated. Saturday morning, our time, the opening ceremony, and we're just like, love in Paris. Paris, Paris, I just, Paris. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Paris is, you know, I've seen a bit of drama lately. I'm a bit nervous for Paris. Yeah, some Channel 9 guys got their gear stolen. That's not helpful because it hasn't even started yet. I know, and they're walking around it. So they're walking around in their Australian team outfits. Ricky, you don't think that they should? Look, look, what was no, your point? No, they've been told that they shouldn't wear their um, their uniforms out the because because they're being targeted. That's yeah. why they're not but wearing them. Why are people them? targeting people during the Olympics, which is meant to bring all the countries horrible. in the world together? It's like when you wear your pink Gucci jumper, you get targeted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, are people still, still pooing in the sand? Oh, always. It's a big dump. <laughs> Great. It's a Beautiful. dump. Beautiful. Celine Dion will be doing backstroke in there on Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, she's confirmed. She is confirmed for the so opening exciting. ceremony. So exciting. I might get up. For someone who can't perform, she's doing a lot of performing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Don't. Anyway, we've got some stuff on that in the Watch your mouth. soon. I just reckon you can't perform, stop performing. But hey, hey, hey. Turns out you can perform heaps. Watch out. I know I'm in a different city, but I can get on a plane. All right. You won't. <laughs> what did you say? You I won't. S- no, you won't. You're all talk crazy. No, I've got to go to Perth on the weekend. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Somebody stop me. On Nova. Oh, please, please, please. Yes. Savvy C. Savvy C. I call her Savvy C. Savvy C. She doesn't want an espresso. She wants a Savvy B. A Savvy C. Oh, I will not have a, sa- a Savvy B. I just cannot do these days. Really? You my drink of choice, but now I just can't. Yeah, that used to be my bitch I diesel. know, I can't. Yeah. I used to love it. <laughs> I know. It but really is bitch really diesel, nervous. Savvy B. <laughs> I cannot drink Savvy B. Mad for a Chardonnay. Had one or two of those last night. When we had our week off, I was drinking golf club espresso martinis. Now, you'd think that that what? is a bad, bad way to go. Are they good? What, like an espresso martini no, made nu- at a golf club? Yeah, at the golf okay. club. And they were nuclear. And the great thing was when there was a little bit left over, they didn't fit in the thing. The lady just gave it to me in a tumbler. Oh, that's So I was wonderful. drinking espresso martinis out of a tumbler at a golf club. That's wonderful. It I was love that. Glorious. No waste. Zero waste. <laughs> no. 2024. Into a tumbler. <laughs> Got big fancy inner city bars. They would not give you that. They no, would not do not. that. No. Of course not. No. I, no, 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 no. Rich and I both said something the other day that I think is quite alarming for both of us. Because oh, yeah. you know how much we love champagne. Oh, yes. Both oh. of us didn't enjoy drinking champagne last weekend. What? We didn't like it. Yeah. What's happened? Was what? it warm? I don't know. It was perfect. It was cold. It was bubbly. Did it, it was at, at our house. Way? It judged me a little bit. Was there Gave orange juice in it? The next day. No. no. Good. No, okay. Just no, checking. Was it Australian City? sparkling? Of course not. It was champagne. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it, it, was it was very mullet. confusing because we both didn't enjoy it. Was it opposite I don't know what's day? happening. I don't know. I'm concerned. I don't know. I get, I'm re- you need to get to a GP, babe. I think I need to go to the doctor. Something's wrong with me. Well, especially today of all days, because today is the day that you should be doing whatever you right. want to do. Which should be that. It's International Self-Care hey, um, Day, ladies and gents. Sure is. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay, great. That changes my evening. Two breaths in. And exhale. 
<laughs> two breaths oh, in. Nice. Can we do one more? Always breathe in through your nose, right? Always in through your nose. I and bought that exhale. tape to put on your mouth when you sleep because I think I'm a mouth breather. Does it work? What, Have duct you been tape? using it? <laughs> I've been <laughs> using it. <laughs> no, that's when I get kidnapped. <laughs> no, um, no, I put that. I put that that stuff on your mouth, and it like tapes your mouth. But then, like at about one a.m., I'm like, "What's this in my mouth?" And I just rip it off and go back to sleep. Yeah, I can't oh. imagine that it's comfortable sleeping with your mouth taped closed. Just be normal and go to sleep like a normal person. Okay. Oh my god, that is the like that is like the hardest thing to do. That's like <laughs> really? asking me to run a marathon. Oh my! I can't just go to sleep. There is like an hour of, pro- wow. of preparation. That, that and- blows my mind because both Tim and I are lay in the bed. Out. Uh, that was so- decide Do you know how many people eyes? listening who are like me who will hate the both of you right now? Because it is such a process. Because well, she's for a Biden me. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I rewatched oh that video God. today, you bite a bitch. so funny, you bite a loving bitch. <laughs> um, I just think he's hot. I used to think he was hot. That's it. That's all. Okay, what we'll do, we'll come back and we'll talk more self-care. 13, yeah. 24, 10. Now, what do you do? What do you oh, get I into? I want to talk you through what I do. For self-care. For a, a day of self-care. Wipe How do you the rest treat of the show. yourself? Mm. How do you celebrate just you time? Yeah, is it a long shower? A bath. 13, 24, 10. He's got the personality. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, etc. On Nova. Hey, I won't say anything more than this. If you're a Troy Savant fan, you might want to listen to the show tomorrow. Oh. Okay? And it's more than just tickets. What do you mean? Oh. Don't say. Like, much I, more. But I haven't. Like a we, meet and greet? Are we talking to like, Troy? Because I haven't spoken to Troy since that day. After uh, after four tomorrow, listen to this show and you will know all about it. Oh, no. And I'm, I'm talking to you two now as well I'm about nervous. that. I'll be here. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll here. be here, but I haven't spoken to him since he came and watched me at that Troy's comedy club lovely. in LA and watched me bomb. He didn't talk to me after that. Well, who does? Troy's on an international enough, yeah, ride. Yeah, I not talk to me either. Currently. <laughs> He's living his best life. Yeah, We're both fine. Perth boys. Yeah, we're so, Via South Africa for him, though. Let's get that straight. He's a bit well, like, a he's got the touch of the Ricky Lees. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, thanks everyone. <laughs> like, are you South African or are you from Perth or Melbourne? Um, what did your passport say and where did you spend most of your life growing up? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cut and Arjo. She's okay. from Qatar at the moment, I heard in the office, her trying to get some flights. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> it's self-care day. It's international sure self-care. I was the only one that said <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, international <laughs> self-care day. What are you doing to look after you, Ricky? Well, today... Beautiful I had a girl. little sleep in. It's International Self Care Day. I had a little sleep in. It was beautiful. Yeah, Woke nice. up at nine a.m. How good was that? Nine a.m. What are you homeless? <laughs> I know. It was what, so what, good. Busy day. Yep. <laughs> My angel got up at nine a.m. And we like a morning movie. Generally, like a horror movie, like Fatal Attraction or mm. um, That's Silence of the Lambs or something. Over. Yes. When Joel came to say he got Fatal Attraction on the TV in the bedroom. Did you but watch yeah. Presumed Innocent? Finished Presumed Innocent last night and and almost punched the TV. I was so yeah. excited, but that's but, not you know very self. But then you got to watch the Harrison Ford movie of the oh, same well, name, which oh was God. based on the same book from nineteen ninety. Yeah. Which you told You've me is the same, time. and it's not the same. How cool is that? So I don't I'm gonna believe watch it that. is. It's so exciting. Um, and then what I also because what I like doing is well, I like cleaning in a self care when I'm in self care mode. Mm-hmm. I steam clean my floors today. What? I deep clean the showers. It was so satisfying, like scrubbing. All of the stuff off the shower glass. It was the best. I bought that thing today. So like much. That. I bought that thing today that you recommended. Yeah. Easy off bam. Easy off bam. I don't know what to do. Oh, it's your fam. I see that on the ads Just all the time. Drown your shower in it and then scrub it. It's yeah. the best. I'm going to do that. Um, I like organisation, but these are some of the ways that you can practice self care. Here are some okay. of the things you can right. oh, exercise and meditation, you know, can't breathing exercise. I can't exercise at the moment. You, you can, you can. Yeah, you, you can, can have little walks. You can. I've got broken ribs. What am I going to do? You're going to have broken legs, bro. Certainly exercising that mouth of yours. <laughs> <laughs> you can have I'm a, exercising okay. my right to be gay. I like that. <laughs> well, you wouldn't like this. You can have a digital detox. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is something. Well, no, what, oh, it no. says the guy that was on his phone until like 4 a.m. last night. On a phone call, though. <laughs> Old school. True. Yeah, that's I was cute. Scroll- I wasn't doom scrolling. I was chatting to a friend overseas. I think a digital detox doesn't include the telly, like putting your phone away, your laptop away. I think the telly's still allowed. Of course. We're not raw dogging through life. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, you could cook your favourite meal. 
Oh, absolutely. Sure, doing that. I, guess. I love cooking. It's so relaxing. You yeah. can't I, think I, I about love, anything else while you're cooking. I do That's love what cooking. I do enjoy about it. A salon and spa day, Joel. Tips oh, and toes. Pop trip. down to tips and toes. Five percent off if you pay cash. There you go. Beautiful business they're running there. <laughs> you could do <laughs> you could do a bit of decluttering and organizing. Marie or, Kondo. Yes. Yeah. What sparks joy? Do these okay. old undies with holes in them spark joy for me still? Yes. Yes, of course they do, because I got memories <laughs> attached. <laughs> how, how those Whoa. holes got in, said <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit excited. You I'm sorry. That. You could just pull them down, but, but instead sometimes it's a bit more exciting. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Of course it, it is. Um, undies are cheap, whatever. Yeah. Well, <laughs> undies, stockings, whatever. Who cares? So what? Who cares? Um, you could go on an adventure. Okay. That sounds no, like a wonderful adventure. I'm not going adventure. on an adventure. <laughs> what does that even mean? You could I go know. on like a, on, a, on a hike. You go hiking. You know, don't no, Americans love going on a hike? It's just hiking. a fancy word for walking. Yeah. I'm not going for a hike after we finish the show. It's a fancy Melbourne word for dodging hyenas. <laughs> like, oh, wow, well, it looks, it looks fun to <laughs> hike up there with all that stuff. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what is it, Runyon Canyon? Yeah, I that know. Everyone, I'm just going oh, for a hike. Oh, all the you're guys. You're going for a walk, bro. No, you're it's going to get a photo at the top with your shirt off. I'll go, go, I'll go for an adventure in the uh, the bar at Chateau Mamont Face and see what I come across. Well, I've been out every night this week. As, I, as I've been saying, so I'm going to have a self-care night tonight. Do it. Stay in and stare at the roof. You know, that's what I love to do. You do right. love that. Mm. Pop on um, some tunes, some light, maybe, easy tunes. James? I was going to say RuPaul's Drag Race, but yeah. Okay. Hello, James. Hello. Do you like Hello. our calm demeanour? We're very calm and cool and relaxed on International Self Care Day. So, well, actually, I'm calling it um, Self Careless Whisper Day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> James, what do you do? You're alone in that. Uh, I like to go and do a float. What's that? Oh, I've always wanted to do a float, like one of those float tanks. <gasps> yeah, but, but no, not a tank, because I've oh, done float sorry. tanks before, because, and they, some people don't like them because they can be quite enclosed and claustrophobic. No, yeah. it's the place I go to, they actually have a small room with a small pool. So it's complete, it's more open, and you just, you can have the lights on or off, so you can have complete Ooh. darkness, you can have music or complete silence. And, and are you by yourself? Yeah, just, well, you can do it on your own or as a couple. Um, but on, yeah, no thanks. One hour, just absolute float. Just and you can't but, sink. I've tried sinking. You but, cannot. Do, <laughs> do you float around and like? like what about like? That. Do you like float too far and then like boom and like knock your head and then float back and like boom knock your feet and then end up like boom knock your shoulder. And I think when How people annoying. go in as a couple, I don't think there's much floating going on. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, we'll drain that float. In a, in a, it was in a beautiful <laughs> dark <laughs> candle lit room with. I, Sensual music oh on. God. I don't think anyone's doing. If Jack any and I went into the float room and we would not do what you think we're going to do, we would t- <laughs> we, we somehow it would be like you just brushed past me too hard, and we <laughs> blo- it would turn into a full blown <laughs> argument. Nick, what are you doing? Self care day, international self care today, or careless uh, day? Hey guys, happy international self care day. Thank you, too, um, Nick. Now. It's uh, setting the scene for a man pedicure in the morning oh. and then uh, heading through a foot massage. Good uh, man. I love that. I love that. By a, um, followed by a nice chai latte and heading out to Tullamarine Airport to the viewing platform and just listening to the roar of the internet. <gasps> Nick, I'm ahead. obsessed with you. You're so Nick, beautiful. you are me. I love a pedicure. And are you an avisexual too? I am. I'm Jason Lawrence. And, um I am uh, Jason Lawrence, uh, uh, resident aerosexual. <gasps> oh, my God, I'm an aerosexual as well. I'd happily come out to the viewing platform with you tomorrow, but you can view me taking off to Perth if you like. All right. <laughs> yeah, my boss is currently overseas at the moment on a plane. I've been tracking him all day. Oh, my God, I've been tracking Air Force Two all day. Oh, you were stalky sexual as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> stalking everyone. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Well, because she's a Biden bitch. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Karma is the thunder, rattling your ground. Karma's on your scent like a bounty hunter. Here it comes. Karma's gonna track you down, step by step from town to town. Sweet like justice, karma is a queen. Karma takes all my friends to the summit. <laughs> karma is the guy on the screen. Come straight <laughs> home to me. Karma is your girlfriend. Kamala is my girlfriend. Make America laugh again. Um, US Vice President Kamala Harris slash potential 47th President of the United States has dropped an F-bomb at the Asian Pacific American Institute for Congressional Studies Legislative Leadership Summit. Makes me love her even more. In May, same. Do you want to have a listen? Hang on, she did this while she was Vice President. 
while she, she was the F-bomb. deep, she dropped the <laughs> F-bomb. Okay. Have a listen. Sometimes people will open the door for you and leave it open. Sometimes they won't. And then you need to kick that f***ing door down. Yes, come on! <laughs> wow. I think it's great. I think yeah. it's really rel- I think a well-placed swear word is always delicious. 100%. And it's it's a it's appealing to the younger vote. <laughs> yeah. I love her so much. She loves it. She loves to laugh. She's <laughs> the bar getting tipsy. <laughs> Listen to this show. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Heard of it. On Nova. <laughs> Who's it? A bar song, a tipsy ear here, the Savo on over Richie. Jenny's Lee, into that Joel. song. Jenny loves that. Jenny Creasy. Yeah. She, loves she it. Like, she was talking through her new favourites and she was like, Shabuzi, and she just says it so casually, whereas I'm like, <laughs> I don't know who that is. It's it like might work on the show. Um, is she into Cam Dado? Oh, my God. She would climb that man like a tree. <laughs> You are so brat. Um, because oh, my God. He's back. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very soon to award another Thanks. Lux Date Night or Man Date Night Staycation Friendship Date Place <laughs> thing, <laughs> including gold class tickets to Deadpool and Wolverine, a night's accommodation, and, and spending money to treat yourself. Because Marvel Studios, Deadpool and Wolverine delivers the ultimate iconic cinematic team-up throwdown. So many words. The movie's already over. It's so beautiful that you remember that all. All you've you got head. to worry about is it's Ryan, it's Ryan and Hugh. In Hugh cinemas Ryan. now with Ryan and Hugh. <laughs> Hugh and Ryan. <laughs> and Kamala, apparently. Oh, Kamala and Dado. <laughs> Kamala loves Cam. Oh, no. Hey, hands off, Kamala. <laughs> you've got wow. Doug. <laughs> wow. That's a bit hectic. <laughs> But Ranger Stacey's been a bit quiet lately. Oh, yeah, no, she, her contract ran out. I was running through the park the other day and I heard someone say, wow, and it sounded exactly yeah. like Ranger Stacey. We have wow from Ranger Stacey. Whoa. Don't listen to him. He's lying. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so long again. ago, that promotion. <laughs> I know. This prize is totally wild. All right. Thank you, Stace. Whoa. Thanks, Stace. All right, wait, hang on, wait. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> God, it's a cast Whoa. of thousands in here. We just need our we just need Albo's wow now, Dan. I guess wouldn't that be funny? Wow. Albo just rocked up to this, the recording booth with the guys. And then if ScoMo oh, no. said stop it at the end of uh, it, stop it. <laughs> Isn't it funny how they're all very <laughs> they're all very quiet before you hear like the click of a mouse, and then yeah. and, 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 and then they get all chatty. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Whoa! Wow! You are so brat. Wow! Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Stop it. (laughs) (laughs) Let's talk this, because uh, if you are listening now, a lot of people listening in their cars. Isn't that lovely? Drive time radio, am I right? Yeah, Um, boom, got it. (laughs) What did you see while driving 13, 24, 10? That is our number. Give us a call. What did you see while driving? Well, this is a big one. Big one for me. Drivers, get this, were shocked when they thought they saw Nessie, as in my Nessie, (laughs) the Loch Ness creature. (laughs) On the side of, not monster, because she's never going to come show her face if she was called a monster, on the side of a highway in Texas. Oh, little girl, little beautiful girl with a big now, long neck. Hey, in it's Texas? Not, in te- I know. She, if she's gone, gone from Inverness to Texas. Well, she's probably been like, screw this. You call, call me a monster for years, but you want to get a photo with me. <laughs> Maybe I'll be better received in the United States. Big old Texas. Because they love immigration in the United States. Oh, so they would love it. Nessie just, you know, Especially just illegally like coming Texas, over the border. Yeah. Um, Nessie, anyway. could, Nessie could, like, squirm through the wall. <laughs> yeah, the big wall yeah, that don't mind me. Don't mind me. And just, <laughs> just getting through. Um, to see here. Well, you can just walk around it, like, on Four Corners on Monday. Like, you just walk around the wall if you want. Yeah. Just walk around I know. It. What a great idea that was. Uh, turns out so well um, executed, you know? Nessie was an old chair. That had been swept oh. onto the highway following Hurricane Barrel, a Category say, 5 Atlantic Hurricane. That looks like a beautiful part of the world, doesn't it? Just, Just like, gorgeous. Oh, that looks like... not, is that where you grew up, Danny? That looks lovely. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hurricane Barrel. Oh, yeah, she's Florida. This name. is Texas. This is Texas. Very different. Very okay, different. another thing. I went to Texas things. to see Beyonce. It is beautiful. Oh, yeah, you did too. Yeah. I lived in Houston for a while. Did you? Yeah, very flat and hot. That's where Beyonce's from, just saying. 
Houston, Texas, baby. The Houston, Texas, Texas. Another. Th- well, actually, something has been spotted in Florida. Last week, a depressed. Oh, this is. I feel sorry for this bear. A depressed black bear was spotted on the side of a highway in Florida. Now, police pleaded with the public to stop taking selfies with the depressed bear. Oh, my God, this feels like me when I'm having a bad day and, you know, fans just flock over to me outside Betty's Burgers downstairs near the office Um, with the the depressed bear as he's clearly not in the mood for pictures. The bear has shown signs of severe stress. Oh, Bubba, you need to get on the peroxetine. Yeah, he needs undies on too. He's really showing there. I know. Is yeah. it a boy, though? Yeah. Th- that doesn't look like a boy. Okay. I'm just saying. Hey, Sue, how are you? What did you see while Hi, driving? Hi, sir. Hi. What did you see while driving, Sue? A dead possum in the gutter being eaten by crows. It was vile. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, Sue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. The animal kingdom, eh? The circle hey. of life. I know. Ah. Hakuna Matata, etc. All right, Cameron Dado is next, okay? You are so brat. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes. on Nova. If you've been following the Bunnings raid, you might want to listen out for Glossies very soon. Some news just to hand. Oh, cheeky tease. Pretty exciting. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. I can't wait. I know. It'll be a sausage sizzle. It'll be a sausage fest. No, <laughs> I'm in. Welcome to Love Hate Song Dedications with Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. I hate you, I love you. Are you ready for a Love Hate Song Dedication? That means do you love someone enough to give them a little shout out with a tune or do you hate someone enough to give them a little shout oh, out oh, with a, a little, tune? A little hate tune would be Plenty of the latter. I hate it so much. Have we had a hate this week? Um, mm. Okay. Well, look, yeah, we'll ask Cam. Cam's standing by. Cam Dada, that Cam is. Cam knows everything. Cam knows Hugh and Ryan and Cam and Hugh and Ryan and Cam. Cam, Hugh, Cam, Hugh, Ryan, Ryan guys. Hugh, tick, me, tick, Cam, tick. Ryan. Ryan, Hugh, Cam. And they're pranksters, those guys. Okay. Wolverine. Oh, they really are. And Deadpool. They deliver the ultimate, iconic, cinematic team up throwdown. It's in cinemas right now. Same Ryan and Hugh. Um, <laughs> NovaFM.com.au. Great prize. A little mandate, a little luxe date. I know. I can't wait till date. we go. Tim and Joel go to see Ryan and Hugh. Oh, that'll okay. be so beautiful. We hold hands. You're up here next week. We yeah, we're going to be holding hands. I love your big hands. As long as your band aids are gone. I've got still I've got three little scabs on my hands at the moment. Oh They're goodness. very busy. Okay, you can put my, your hand <laughs> on my thigh oh my then. <laughs> Let's throw to you, Nick, I believe. <laughs> Wanting to dedicate a song today and hoping to dedicate I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor to my best mate. Oh. It is the anthem for when I go over to his place because cooking is always so grim. Uh, Jez, I do love the effort, but I fear the taste. What's his favourite yeah. meal to cook? Uh, chicken, anything chicken related. So you always fear whether it's overcooked or you could end up with some food poisoning. Mate, look, so you're not going to suffer... We're going to send you on a luxury mate night staycation. Thank you. Uh, much needed and I'll very appreciate it. <laughs> well done. Okay. Well, Nick, here's your dedication. I will survive from Gloria Gaynor. First I was afraid, I was petrified. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Somebody stop me. <laughs> on Nova. There you go. For you, Nick. And oh, your mate. No. They cook chicken what badly. Is there anything worse than put people cooking chicken badly? No, you can't have oh. it medium rare. Gross. Yeah, no, yeah. Jack, Jack just lightly <laughs> sears it either side. No, you can't, yes. You can't do that. One more chance to win a uh, Lux date or mate night staycation. Novafm.com.au. Our love hate song dedication to turn. Go see it tonight. It's out now. Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, Thursday night out. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. I love that. On Nova. Lumineers, we were talking about them in New Music Friday the other day with our little mate James Bay and Noah Khan and this awesome song. A killer track. Up all night. Let's talk about dreams. Let's talk about life. I had so Let's many people reaching out and asking me about this song. So good. Woo! I love it. I love it. Marion. <laughs> the Glossies on screen. on screen On screen So much happening in the world of Glossies What is Let's going on go. 
Katy Perry has officially been announced as the halftime entertainment at the um, uh, uh, AFL football concert um, yes. finale. She's doing it's pre-game for the AFL. Oh, pre-game. Sorry, yep. my Which bad. Which is going to be huge. It's huge. It's Katie massive. Katy Perry. Yeah. Are you joking? She's done a lot for us, though. You know, um, not that long ago, she did the MCG uh, for the T20 Women's World Cup match in 2020. That's right. Uh, then we was it 2015? She did the Super Bowl. She has a real massive. soft spot for Australia. I believe she donated a lot of money during. I know Pink, it was Pink did it, but I think Katy Perry donated a lot of money during some some awful bushfires. Well, no, she, she's huge all over the world too. But Australia is a very big market for her. We very much embraced her. This you is know, her at the Super Bowl. It was a great performance. It was so time. good. I, I might watch that again tonight. Raw's one of my pump up songs, you know, it's like if I feel like I need song. like a, like, oh, let's go, Joel, like, which I don't know when that ever happens in my life, but I put on either Raw or Defying Gravity. <laughs> you know, John, Jonathan so Brown, much. when he was playing for the Lions, used to use ACDC in the change rooms as his pump up song. And then really? his coach, I think it was Lee Matthews at the time, told him he had to stop listening because he got too fired up. Oh. Like, stop too with the ACDC. Up. Is that a thing? Yeah. Like, when it comes to sports? When you're punching up, guys, when they haven't even oh. done anything yet. <laughs> He's like, yeah. What are you looking at? Who are you looking at? Yeah. Anyway, uh, next glossy. So this is very, very uh, awful, this next glossy. Oh, okay. Well, then I won't take a guess at it because I don't know. Do you don't know who it is? It's Billy Ray Cyrus. No, he's he, not. Miley is not in close with no. Billy Ray. No. Well, I think even recently when she was Anymore. performing at the Chateau Mamont, like she's thanked everyone in her life except her dad. Um, oh, this, well, that's pointed, isn't it? This next little grab I'm going to play you has Alec Baldwin vibes, has Mel Gibson vibes, if you catch my drift. Oh, God. Leaked audio. Oh, not sure if no. I want that. <laughs> no. We'll, 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 we'll cheer everyone up after, but this first grab is I'll him, I believe, belittling his Aussie wife, which is awful. This is the bit that we can play. There's obviously heaps more. I will not tolerate that shit. You just f***ed up. I thought you'd be happy. No, f*** you. F*** you. <gasps> no better than that. And then the next grab oh, no. is her having a shot at My- um, him having a shot at Miley. Now, in this grab, he calls Miley the devil, so he doesn't use Miley's name. He says the devil. What? Um, have a listen to this. She was impregnated by two different men and had those two children before she met Billy Ray. Just think if it said that. The truth on, I mean, Noah. Brandy, Trace, and everyone knows Devil's a Skank. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, what a dirty dog. I've gone right off That's Billy Ray. Awful. Not that I was ever into him, but he is, he's cancelled in my book. Well, and as well, like, you know, everyone has family dramas, right? But though those family dramas are supposed <laughs> to stay behind publicly. closed doors and be personal and, and private. Well, they didn't air, he didn't air them. I think they, yeah, they someone got, else has. But that's, yeah. oh, it's that's just leaked. still, it's so oh. awful to hear that. Yeah, it was like the Alec Baldwin side. Every time wow. I love Alec Baldwin as an actor, I can't unhear him calling his daughter a pig. Yeah. No. Like, once you do that. And then, oh. and then Mel Gibson, obviously, with his wife. Obviously. That was like, hectic. Obviously. All this right. is how my parents talk about me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Let, I'm going to bug Jenny's, their house. <laughs> tap Jenny's phone. Their bodyguard won't let you. Um, <laughs> little. <laughs> Next glossy, please. What's happening here? Oh, my gosh. This is Travis Scott. Yes, it is. And he has just uh, broken Taylor Swift's record, I think it is, for the biggest concert in Italy. I yeah. think what? he had 80 something thousand people at one show, and it's like, Who is it's, Travis Scott? people are saying it was like an earthquake. Um, yeah. In wherever it was. Because remember, because the crowd. Swift had an earthquake in Edinburgh. Yes. Remember? That's in right. In June. Uh, Travis Scott is the only rap artist selling out stadiums globally. Oh, my God. That's it's huge. not really across him. Is he with the Kardashian? He was with... He's the baby daddy of Kylie's... Right. Kids. Uh, Baba. And they were together for all. I don't think that they're not together anymore. But he's a huge, mm. huge artist. Even I like Sicko Mode. Yeah, Sicko Mode's that song. so good. That music video. The video. Is... That's how it got me because it was on Rage. <laughs> it was on Rage in the top 10 for about eight months. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Wow, that. that is huge. Okay. Everyone ready for this? Because. Um, yeah, yeah. This is big news. There's, there's been a lot of talk about a Bunnings raid. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh, now, expl- can you just give me just a ex- little explanation as to Bunnings rave? 
Well, I think what's so not initially was like talking about it. They he he released a song like a like kind of remixed the jingle, the budding mm-hmm. jingle. Then mm-hmm. Peking Duck, Duck did, did it, it as well, which and is so good. Such a banger of a remix. It sounds so good. And then they were calling to like have a have a, a party at the warehouse, yeah. have a rave at Bunnings Warehouse. So Brilliant. literally moments ago, this was posted to at Peking Duck's Instagram. Bunnings have listened. We're doing this. Yee-hee! It's gonna be us. What's so not? Here's Taylor the McKenzie, the guy who started this thing on TikTok, oh, is yeah. dead. We still don't know where. So pick a spot, pick a state, pick a Bunnings. Where do you want to do this party? Cut off your oh, garden Melbourne. Hose and get ready to get sweaty in the timber aisle with us. <laughs> this it's going to be massive. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad Bunnings so have jumped happy. on board. That's yes. so good. good Lowest prices are just the beginning. Yeah, we called it already. Tool it down. Oh, yeah, that was so yesterday, and by that I mean Tuesday. Yeah, and in the glossies before we confirmed via the Peking Duck website and Instagram even, that the Bunnings <laughs> rave is going ahead, and this Ew. is their remix, Joel, that you were asking yes, about. Yes, yes, yes. Of here. the Bunnings Warehouse theme. Yes! Oh, incredible. Right. Incredible. Oh, there better be a sausage sizzle. I'll happily get on the tools. How good. So a yeah, state me. we picked, a location that we picked. I mean, so you mad not to do it in a Bunnings in every capital city, surely. Oh, Bunnings tour. Oh, my God, how good. <laughs> that would be amazing. Now, it is a quick draw day today, and I'm looking for... Our guest is already here. I know that for a fact. Early? I'll have a big grin after my quick draw win. Yeah, there you go. Big a big grin. grin. They're here. Um, Sarah Harris. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this fiery bedroom debate after this. Oh, this is going to go on. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Too cool for school. On Nova. Thank you, Eminem. It's Houdini. I've just showed you a little YouTube clip. I of know. I love that. Our quick draw guest coming up in a sec. It's oh, very exciting. Hmm, very exciting. Superstar oh. in our midst. I'm so excited. I can't believe, so, actually, you've not met him I'm or her before. I'm surprised, too. I'm really surprised, too. I mean, maybe we have. We've, yeah. we've all been around for maybe. a million years. Yeah. But, I, uh, yeah, oh. I, I don't remember. I don't remember a, a meeting. But mm-hmm. big I don't fan. remember what I did three hours ago. <laughs> Just I'm watching old big bed. day out footage from 2000. <laughs> I, I think um, I might have been at that big day out. I certainly was. I had heat stroke that day. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. No. Drank the old it. heat yep. stroke in the heat stroke <laughs> tent. <laughs> happy Australia Day, guys. Yep. Happy Australia Day. Go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joel, you're about to ignite a sexy debate. 13, 24, 10, um, mm. if you want to get involved once you hear what Joel wants to get involved I know, with. I've been doing a lot of the sexy chat this week, which feels On right. brand? Yeah. Um, with this nasal man. voice. I, oh, and like, I think, you know, like this voice just would really turn people on. Oh, 100%. This nasal voice that people think I put on. Like I'm when, like, <laughs> when you <laughs> whisper... I've got to live with it. When you whisper sweet nothings... Into Jack's oh, yeah. ear. Oh, is it with I that voice, or ear. is it? Oh yeah, within in all of our ears. Can you whisper sweet nothings with that voice into all yeah. of our ears, please? Something real I, sexy. I reckon we. <laughs> oh love your god. music. <laughs> hey blackers. Oh my god! I can't stop. wait to go and see that Wolverine movie with you. <laughs> Cut the hole just, out of the bottom of the popcorn. I know, I've just yeah. found out you have no time for me next week, so that's fine. Dude, oh. I've got two free days till the end of the year, and you can have one of them. Anyway, a urologist and pelvic surgeon, Dr. Pardon? Rena Malik. <laughs> pelvic I'm doing surgeon. the story. I'm doing the story now. That's how. Um, that was called a segue. It was beautifully yeah, this done. Is ra- this is radio. A urologist but, is the, how you started that. It's interesting. That's all. Yeah, I know because I have a different um, process with my radio broadcasting than you do. Um, <laughs> are you? <laughs> a urologist and pelvic surgeon, <laughs> Dr. Rena Malik. Weighed in on how often couples should be having. That's going to be what sex is. Oh, that's going to be my. So Dr. Malik confirmed that there's no ideal number, but on average, couples are having 
about <laughs> once a week. Now, Dr. Malik continued to say it's not the quantity of the oh, that the matters, it's the quality of the and ultimately no you don't do it very much if that's how, how you do it. It sounds like you're backing over a cat. Oh, I don't Get a dog know. Ram. I haven't done it for four years. And ultimately, it's what is right for you. What is right for you. Oh, okay. One a week. Are, do, are you in disagreements? For 100%. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's so exhausting. I think you're talking to the two, two wrong people if you think that's good. <laughs> If you think, are you thinking one a week is too much or too little? That, I think one John a week, thinks that's too much. That's too much. Too much hubba hubba. Okay. That's shocking to me. I mean. What do you do otherwise? Like, do you I cuddle? Watch te- I watch telly. Oh, we but cuddle. Do you, cuddle? Yeah, you do watch a lot of TV, don't you? We watch telly. We cuddle. Maybe the um, TV is just too good. You know, you shouldn't have a TV in your bedroom. I've always said that. I never have had a TV in my bedroom. But how do you watch Titanic at 9am? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your number? That's all we're asking people. Oh. What's your normal number? 13, 20, 14. <laughs> That's the amount of times. <laughs> <laughs> what, 1,340? <laughs> 13... Mine, mine, mine fluctuates. Um, oh, that sounds real fun at your house. Yeah, it fluctuates it between what? It is so much what? fun at my but, house. But, but fluctuates, what, like what kind of number are we talking about? Like one, like one like two, Like in, in what time frame? Five. Like in a year? A, Year, yeah. Wow. No, not a year. I'm just, I'm just, you know. Well, what's your number I'm just then, Josh? You. So what's your oh, number then, You Joel? haven't given me your number yet, and I've done the story. I've done the story about the. <laughs> um, I would say my number is three. In uh, what time frame? Yeah. A month. Okay. That's, oh, so that's you, more so you than, are pretty much one away. That's more than you've been, you know, letting on. Well, I'm trying to make the listeners think I'm cool. Okay, no, I think, don't lie to the listeners because you want them to think you're cool. I would, never lie. Us, I would never lie to the listeners. Don't give lie us, to give us the number. So, yeah, pretty much once a week. There you go. You're on You're on brand for Dr. Malik. So-and-so. Malik. Dr. Malik, Rally who Malik. is an expert in... I've got a song for you, Joel. This is um, from John Farnham. One is the <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are fine, are fine in our own skin and find love, you know, within ourselves. And you still both haven't given me a number. 13, 20, 14. <laughs> oh, you yeah, see, why you, you pushed me on, on <laughs> my number, number, which is the embarrassing one, and then you're not answering. Well, your number's the amount of times today. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Oh my god! How are you still upright? Well, most people I, most, most people don't start work at three thirty in the afternoon. I'd have to take the afternoon <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, let's go. We've got uh, Nicholas is here. Hello, Nicholas. What's your number? What's your Hello. normal number? Ah, uh, mate, me and my missus do it every day. Yes, Nicholas. Go, Nick. Every day before work, after work, get down with it, hitting the roll. Oh, Nicholas! Oh wow. You, are you have to change the day. sheets. Well, that's why we've got a five-month-old baby now. A five-month-old oh. baby, you have to have some time off there. Oh, so what Mess with the ball, you get the horns. Change the sheets? What's happening? You don't need to change the sheets every <laughs> well, time. Not every time. It's twice a day. Yeah. You don't need to change them every time. Well, think, once a week is sufficient. It's like changing what, the sheets. It's you know like what, what I learned about exercise, right, and, and playing an instrument, right? You yep. have snackable moments. So, like, if you think that it's all about lighting candles and spending three hours doing it, no you'll way. never do it. No. If you just go, boom, boom, and in it's the door, always, out the door, boom, boom, in the door. It's always not the perfect time. Yeah. You just got to kind of make the time. You know what you're, they always say? Well, I'm quite busy. How's this? Here's something for you, Joel. You yeah. never regret Tim. a swim. Let's put it like that. You never regret a swim. Never. Oh, we reckon that you would if you jumped in the ocean and got eaten by a shark. You'd regret that swim. <laughs> you never regret a swim. You never regret a... Luke. You'd, you'd, you'd regret a swim if you got caught in a rip. It's also very relaxing, Joel. Yeah, and good exercise. Good, good exercise. No. Very no, relaxing, stress-relieving. Self- because yeah. also, I have to... Um, Put the blackout blinds down, turn no, the I lights have to off. Do... With Jack, who's very fit, and I'm like just like a blob. Yeah. All like, right. Blankets on, lights I'm off. I'm like flubber. Luke, Same. what's your number? <laughs> yeah, it's three. Three is the number. Oh, snap, girlfriend. Yeah. Like a week, a day. It'll be three times a week. It's oh, one no. person's life. On a Saturday night at 9.30 p.m. Yeah. And then it's Tuesday, Thursday with my girlfriend. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! On a Saturday night. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Tuesday, Thursday with my girlfriend. Oh, my God! Driving you home on Nova. 
Ruby Riot. Arms around my baby. Gosh, I haven't heard this song in years. Remember, he was an actor as well. Yeah. No, no, he, he was not like like everything. That. Really? Wasn't he? Yeah. I think he was the right person. Anyway. Baby, put your arms around me, baby. I just want to fly. What a song. What yeah. a time for music. Yeah, right. 90s? Oh, the best. Or early 2000s was this. Maybe early 2000s. Why are we talking about planes? We're talking about planes because there is an airline that has become the first airline to let women choose not to sit next to men on flights. Isn't that fun? I love this. What do you mean? So there's a a budget Indian airline named Indigo. Not (laughs) Spicejet? No, it's not Spicejet. Ah. (laughs) Um, So they've become the first airline to allow female passengers to to choose not to sit next to men on flights if they want, which is wonderful because imagine you're like a like a little lady yeah. or a little old lady and you like, you know, Isn't end up on a next plane. No, but next to these like a big burly man that's yeah, like taking up all spreading. the space and man spreading. Like there's so many of these stories and pictures that you see of women that are like okay, yeah, I understand. Well, it's good the they have the option, or, isn't it? It's amazing, but but it doesn't go both ways. So women are allowed to ch- to look on the yeah, seat map and vibe. find out where the where well, other women both are sitting. Ways, there's no point in actually having the system. No, <laughs> no but men, men aren't allowed to basically choose. Basically, sit wherever you want. <laughs> no, men aren't allowed to like find where the women are sitting and choose yeah. to sit next to them. But women can find where other women are sitting and choose to sit next to women. I think this is true. If, if someone from an airline is listening, by all means, thirteen twenty four ten. I, I don't believe unaccompanied minors are allowed to sit next to men. I don't think they advertise no. that. Fact, but I think um, which I'm thri- but, which uh, can I say I'm thrilled with that rule. Well, oh, kids yeah, of course. Kids turn sitting up your end of the plane, John. Oh, my kids sitting next to you doing all your old material. <laughs> do I love you think, food. Do it's you my think I speak? Food. I promise you won't enjoy that. Oh, Artie, you want to read my burn book? Oh, oh, I don't no, talk thanks. to the people next to me on the plane <laughs> ever. Oh, I'm just playing a record. Thanks, I Joel. Pl- I wouldn't talk. I'm hat on, ha- AirPods kids in. Kids don't want to sit next to you either. Hey, our quick draw guest is here. You're going to meet them after this. It's Taylor Swift. I can do it with a broken heart. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. I love this. Taylor Swift, I can do it with a broken heart here on Nova. It's Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Happy Thursday. Let's meet our next quick draw. Woo! Quick draw guest. Our next guest is part of Australian rock royalty. Can get started. Responsible for some pretty big hits. <laughs> Back for this huge national tour and the new album, Whatever, Whatever. Please welcome, Christmas Bill Jamison. Oh, oh absolute royalty. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm better for being here. Thanks for having me. So what good an to intro. See you. So what good an to intro. See you. Now, we were just talking before because we have actually met. We have. A million years ago. A long time ago on a Channel 10 program called Good News Week. Do you remember that oh, show? I, I, I used to go to the oh audience. Oh, my God, Good News Week. I used to go to the audience every week because it was Did near you? my house. Yeah, so I was such a fan of Ricky back then that I asked for a photo with her. <gasps> but But the panellist, there was another panellist there who was a sports star and he thought I wanted a photo with him and I handed oh, him no. my phone. No, no, no. And no. he was really quite upset. He's like, oh, okay. And I've still got... The photo of us it? together. It's got, it's got, we've got to scroll back to 2008. But, yeah. 2008. Like what that, a time to be alive. Good. My goodness. Oh, that is so fun. It was cute. I wow. thought it was weird when you were like, I don't think I've met Phil what? before. I'm like, that kid, that's crazy. All you both do is just go around the country. <laughs> promo, like, promo, promo, promo. Yeah, sing, sing, sing. <laughs> And you can't even remember doing well, that no, at all. 2008 was a, she did was a, a lot strange of acid time. <laughs> LSD. I, I just yeah. released an. Like, you know when when you're just bouncing around the place mm-hmm. and you're you're in a different city, three different cities sometimes in a day, and it all just kind of blends into one, and yep. it's all a blur. It was kind of around that time. This is happening to me right now. Yeah, yes, yeah, you're yeah. traveling like crazy, right? I'm doing 45 shows I was in say, September. This, this, um, Ooh, this yeah. poster makes me tight. Uh, it makes me tighten with all those dates. That's yes. a lot of dates. How do you? How do you? You stay <laughs> healthy, well, and alive through a tour like that. I My don't. Goodness. I don't actually know, and I will <laughs> let you know by December the tenth um, okay. when I okay. when we finish yeah. it. But um, <laughs> we wanted to go out and go back to like Devonport and Townsville and all these places we haven't been for so many. Great. years. They are great, and it's rock and roll. Well, and you're it's finishing be... your tour in where Joel did his last show just then at the Odeon Theatre in Hobart. December oh, the ninth. I just played the Odeon it's, on the it's weekend. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's space. unreal down there. The yes, the sixth of. December. Is it, yeah. oh, is it really? Really good. Yeah, just upside down nine. <laughs> 
<laughs> the green room's amazing. Yes, although See, it's, it's a great green yes, room. Yes, yes. So it's a lot of shows. The new record's coming out. Um, we're going. We're we're giving it a red hot crack again. Has it been a, a bit of time since the last tour? We toured in no. We toured in December. Is that a long time? I guess it's six months. Yeah. So, but this is a whole different ball game because yeah. it's so many gigs. Yeah. I think in Australia yeah. you can kind of do ten shows and you're done because you do you know and more theaters or audience and that's it. But we've decided yeah. to go back to the people cool. and say hello, uh, hello there. It's a Wednesday night and we're in Bundaberg. <laughs> and they appreciate it. Bund- <laughs> Bundaberg's a hoot. I know. Gladstone, hi, it's Tuesday. What about November 1? <laughs> what about November 1 at the Coliseum where you do Idol? Oh, oh wow. Is that that's where, Rudy Hill? Yeah. Is that where you do that? Are yeah. you about to say that? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's, <laughs> well, well, no, it's, it, it's, it's, it's in Rudy Hill, but instead of saying Rudy Hill, they call it Australian Idol HQ and it's yeah, just yeah, the Coliseum. It sounds, real, it sounds really Celine Dion if you say the Coliseum. Yes. That's where we're playing, yeah. the Coliseum, Tim. The Coliseum. And, uh, and Sorry, before Phil. a big tour like this, Phil, I imagine you're in the um, in the dance studio, you know, all day getting the choreography <laughs> Corey, down. Corey, Corey. Um, yeah. I do have choreography for the opening song. <gasps> oh, And then that's okay. it. Okay, There's no okay. more Corey, but I think in the opening song, that's where the photogs are, as we all know. So yeah. we, get, we do all the points then. Yeah. yeah. And then, the then that's it. I just, I just lean on the microphone for the rest of the I, I've said this, though, <laughs> I've said this on air and on podcast many times. You are the best front man in oh, Australia. It's very and cute I've always. And I've known you for a long, long time, and I still he said believe this that. Twenty minutes ago. <laughs> No, That's he really was. We were just watching a yeah, bunch genuinely. of videos. Oh, yeah, we brought up the big day out too. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we were just no, 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 no. Yeah, you got the screen. Uh, can you see that? I can't see it. Yes, <laughs> ready. Selected vision. Oh goodness gracious me! Yes, uh, I'm Your very young. Baby, you. Yeah, very short hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You've had a lot of hairdos over the years. I have. Haven't I've you? made some errors, but haven't we all? Haven't we all? Tim, <laughs> that's your errors too. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> he loves his hair, Tim Blackwell. Yeah, he's I'm very. So- pr- He's very hair proud. I know he, he is. really is. Because it's he's only got it up here, and then down here, you're like a. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm quite the juxtaposition. <laughs> you're a little mm. dolphin. You're a little slippery little sucker. <laughs> so it is the whatever, whenever. Wherever tour. Now, Ricky, you have something you would like to have Phil's yes. beautiful, masterful musical oh, ears I would, to. You've, you've I would got like a real ear. Feels. You have an ear. You're a, you're a musician, you're an artist, you know what you're talking about. So we had Whenever, Wherever Gate up in this room, in this studio, mm. on this show. And I saw your tour, Whatever, Whenever, Wherever, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get you to weigh in on Whenever, Wherever Gate. And you need to tell us, yes. judge, did, what did I say? Did I say whenever, wherever? You yes. said the wrong thing. No, I didn't! Yes, thank you, Phil. On, let's play the it. The country no, agrees. I didn't. Let's play it. Whenever, forever. Forever. She you said forever, baby girl. I didn't say forever. You're whenever, you're forever. Good. Here, let's, let's listen, please. Whenever, forever. It's time yep. for you to accept yes. the ruling. Stop putting an F where the W was said. This is obviously That's a real did. trigger point, isn't it? I didn't. I it? said did. wherever. Did. This is really that? firing you, you both did. up before quick draw because you're playing so each other. Angry. I love I this. thought you were going to be on my side. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was it? No one's on your side. Well, you no played, you played quick draw with us before. <laughs> um, many, many moons ago, 2017 or 2018, I believe. Uh, 2017 and 19, and uh, you won in 17, lost in 19. Didn't we all? Um, <laughs> 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 we sure did. Uh, we've got our Prime Minister here, Anthony Albanese, with the rules. I'm Anthony Albanese, and these are the official quick draw rules. <laughs> okay. Tim will give a category <laughs> and a letter. The first to yell out a correct answer gets a point. The first answer you yell out is locked in. Best out of seven wins. Or Ultimately, seven. Tim yeah. will exercise <laughs> his yeah, we discretion. Out. Okay. What, that matters the most? Oh, seven. Seven, okay, oh, seven. 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 I wasn't listening, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Yeah, just remember this bit. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. <laughs> okay, Doesn't he discretion. always, though? <laughs> his discretion. I his always discretion. exercise my discretion. Name something you'd find in a recording studio starting with S. Say it, studio say it, say studio it. equipment. You have to say oh, it. Oh, you got to say you can't buzz. Oh, yeah, no. you don't buzz. Oh, you don't buzz. I'm just going to say it. Don't spray um, it. Um, studio equipment. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new single, Never Say Never. It is out now. Phil Jamison from Grinsburg is going to stick around and play Quick Draw for real when we come back. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Heard of it. On Nova. Love that. Billie Eilish, Birds of a Feather. Still my favourite pop record of the year. So good. There you go. Just, I've said it. It's really good. Do you know my favourite rock and roll record of the year is going to be? Whatever, whatever by Grinspoon. Yeah, out yes. August yes. 9th. Yes.
That's my answer too. Good. It's on my birthday eve. Oh, I love that for us. You're actually in town on my birthday, aren't you? I'm in. The, I'm playing the State Theatre on that Saturday evening. Yes, you I'm are. doing some singing there. Which would be fun. Ooh, the yeah. State yeah. It's very oh. salubrious, isn't it? The State Ooh, Theatre. So beautiful. Nice. Very nice. Nick Cave in his residency there recently. It was wonderful. Did you have a good time? I, I heard you got to meet the Prince of Darkness. I did. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How's his hair? Stunning. <laughs> Were you oh, invited excellent. back or did you force your way back he after paid, a few months? He, no, no, he paid. Oh, he, paid. <laughs> he paid a lot of money. <laughs> a bit of pay? column A, a bit of column B. <laughs> did you pay? No, I didn't pay. Yeah, you did. That's no. so cute. I did not pay. It's did you face. pay for me? Okay, Green. no more plugs for Greenspoon. <laughs> <laughs> no more I'll Greenspoon. Plug you know you I'll plug them. Greenspoon are on tour. Google it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jolie. Cool plug. Okay, cool plug. Well, it's actually the easiest thing to do. Tim and Joel's quick draw. Phil Damerson's here. If you put in Greenspoon Google, it'll... Oh, a Good Spoon Australian tour dates. It'll come up straight away. Never say never. The new single is out now. First new album in 12 years. Very proud of you. Thank I have you. a little sneak preview of this album, and it's old school. It's Thank proper. You. It's Good Spoon. It's very ferocious. It is. Right. Whatever. I can't wait to hear it. It's good times. Whatever. I love whatever. Ferocious. Yes. Ferocious. Is it whatever, whatever? Oh. It's whatever, whatever is the name oh, of the, the album. album. Sorry. And then the, and then the two is called whatever, whatever whenever, whenever, wherever, wherever, forever. And the song is wow. Never Say Never. You're really into the uh, And Because Rick, Ricky would okay, be thanks for pointing that, that out. Yeah. I didn't realise <laughs> until like someone said that. I love it so much. <laughs> Whoops. It's like it's when so the band good. Churches decide to spell their name with a V instead of a U. I'm like, it's too hard, guys. Too much. <laughs> too hard. Too much. I'm not streaming oh, stuff yeah. now. Yeah, that was very difficult. I just thought it was pronounced reverse. Just Verjuice, Maggie Beer's album. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Excellent. A little bit of a chuckle in here every now and then, Phil. I Just love the day at the office. It's a day at the, office. A day the office for us in here. It's good to laugh. Okay, you know? it is Phil versus Ricky, two yes. stalwarts of the business. Yes. I'm okay. scoring. Thank you, Joel. No worries. Don't and I've no, also got your back. Don't I've try also and got your back. Up. No, butter me up. Butter me right up because I've got your back. Ricky's won way too many times this year. <laughs> feel, <laughs> feel, feel, feel I'm going for you, Thank baby. You. Okay. Thank you. Can you feel the love tonight? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Name a ve- no, no buzzing. Oh, no buzzing, just the answer. Name a vegetable starting with S. Sausages. Okay. <laughs> okay well, f- a vegetable feel- starting with S. Squash. I would. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I do love feel, sausages. I was desperately though. trying to work out how I could pay sausages. I, I guess, sausages. I guess sometimes there's a well, the, the odd veggie in a veggie, sausage. Or yeah. well, like a banana. Hand of bananas look like sausages sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Hand of the bananas. Lady fingers. I didn't get that right. I'm sorry. Next question, please. That's all right. Name That's an right. artist starting with F. Fiona Apple. Oh, oh yes. yes. I was going to say Jessica. Fonzie. 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 That is just you two in, a, in yes. an answer. <laughs> right? <laughs> really nutshell where we both are. <laughs> Question number three. Name something you would travel with, starting with P. Plane. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. Yes, Phil. Good answers now, too. The sausage stuff have me worried, but this is great. I know. Would you travel yes. with a plane, yes. though? Yes. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Little you little plane with? with your oh, children. Okay. Give them a little plane. Okay. How else do you get to the Maldives? <laughs> <laughs> Can you backstroke? <laughs> it's your oh favourite place. God. Doesn't that make heaps of sense? Oh. Oh, look, I've got my little Maldives pen here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. it's, 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 actually the, it's actually the Maldives, so not the Maldives. Okay. So, yeah, okay that's you're it for the Greenspoon plug. The Maldives. No more Greenspoon plugs. Oh, okay. Gosh. What is it? The Maldives? There we no, go. It's not. We are learning some pronunciation of exotic locales. I want to fight everyone in this room. Oh, please. <laughs> what about Good News Week? We've got great memes. I, I no. need to see that photo. I love that. I, I, I wanted to be had... Paul McDermott when I was young. Yes. Did you? And you what happened? To be Paul McDermott. I wanted to be him. <laughs> and, we're, and we're not that much different. I age. wanted to be Mikey Wilmot. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey Robbins. Oh, Mikey oh Robbins. Oh, who's Mikey, Mikey Wilmot? Mike. Oh, he's an American comedian. Never mind. I'm scoring. I'm not important in this part of the game. <laughs> okay. Oh it's two points Come to on. Phil, one point to Ricky. Come on, Coulter. Name an instrument starting with B. Banjo. Oh. I'm paying that to film. Oh, Joe! Really? Should we go, to, go, the, to, should we go, go to the let's replay? Go to the, let's go to the replay just for oh, arguments. Wow. No I love the replay. Me. No one trusts me. Okay. Oh, no, it's like a cricket, mate. He's got this. Okay, here we go. Getting the replay, Dan. If Dan's there still. Here we go. And. Banjo! Oh, it's Banjo. It's Banjo. For reals. Oh, my God. Three, one. What are you doing? I'm sorry. These, unpa- these, these, these are easy questions. What are you doing for me? Forever. I've never, I've never Maybe wow. you've made me nervous. <laughs> sure. You've made me nervous. Okay, here we go. For the oh, win, we haven't Phil, had a, a good celebrity in for a while. 
All right, come oh on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Our previous oh, no, guests are driving barbalos. around going, No, we had Celeste Barbalas. <laughs> yeah, but we've had some real average ones, too. <laughs> Oh, come on. I could name, like, five off the top of my head right now. <laughs> well, that, that could be for after six. Okay. Uh, name an Olympic sport starting with A. Athletics. Athletics. I'm paying that to Ricky. Yes! Good stuff, Joel. Well done. Good, good way of keeping the game alive. I like that. No, I am. No, I, am the, I got it. So I reckon it's about I, keeping the game alive. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, well, well done. Yeah, I know. Alive, and then, then I'm scoring to keep the, like, I'm the infrastructure of the game, aren't Logistics. I? I'm the, I'm the stadium. Logistics, bureaucracy. You're Optus Optus Stadium. Exactly. Yeah. I am Optus Stadium. Um, <laughs> it's still three points to fill, uh, two points to Ricky. Ricky, you still need to get this next question correct to stay in the game, baby girl. It's really patronising, Joel. It's just exactly. real Lang Park vibes from you. <laughs> Pardon? You're more, that's real Lang Park vibes from you now. Suncorp. Lang Park. That's what oh, they call it on the ABC. Yeah. Yeah. They can't call it Suncorp. Lang they can't. Oh. They can't. It's hilarious. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Suncorp. <laughs> <laughs> so, caller on the ABC the other day accidentally said Ferrero Rocher. Oh, they got in trouble. Yes, what? are you serious? <laughs> a, you can't say brands. Okay, here we oh go. Oh my goodness! For the windfield or something. Come and feel. Come and feel. Name come something feel. you'd find at a gig starting with D. Dick. Direct debit Dick, Dick. cards. Dicks. <laughs> I think. Well, Phil started first, and also his answer made a lot more sense. No! <laughs> no! That's it. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Phil. Thanks, Ricky. I think Congratulations. that's only your second loss of the year. <laughs> Direct debit cards. Direct debit cards. <laughs> At the merchandise tent for you. Uh, Grinspoon on answer. the road from September. Check your local guides with special guests, Press Club, and, of course, the brand new album, First E12 Years, out August 9th. Such a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.